How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Vora Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here today with another guide to maintain your ride. What we're going to be talking about today is replacing the charging port on the eMove Cruiser. The charging port is located right here near the front of the bottom of the scooter. Maybe it needs to be fixed because you've been cruising it around for 40 miles a day and it's just going to shake and spill and get a little loosened up in there. Maybe it needs replaced because you're a professional fighter and you just yanked that SOB out. Or maybe it just isn't sending a charge and you aren't sure why, so you're just going to go ahead and start with this fix first. The good news is, this is the easiest fix I've ever had to do on the cruiser. There's no real wiring that you have to deal with, it's two plugs and some screws. So let's go ahead and get into it. Really quick, it's worth mentioning that the only tools that we're going to need are a set of Allen wrenches and a hammer. I'm going to use a little screwdriver just to make it a little easier on myself to twist it, but that's it. Now, like I said, the charger is going to be located on the front right of the deck of the scooter. In order to get into it though, we need to remove the fender from the front of the scooter. Now, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you should know by now that this fender is really easy to get off. You're just gonna remove the six screws that are on the fender. There's the four in the front, and the two on each side on the bottom. In order to make sure that I don't lose any of these screws, I'm going to put them in a cup. Now very gently we're going to knock this off of the front. And now we're ready to start dealing with all this wire work. I have our replacement part right here. You'll notice that it's the same power outlet running with two cables. So we're going to try to find these two cables connected to this power outlet. We're going to start by pulling all this cable out and letting it hang down. You're going to notice this big block. And we're just trying to get it all out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reach in and feel where this is at and the two cables that run along out of it. We're going to follow it up and it should be these two cables in here. It's going to be these two thin black and red cables that come in with a green and white connector and leave as a thicker red and a yellow cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug those. Now we're ready to get the old power outlet out. You're going to want to pull these out loose so that when you twist this they can move freely. But you're just going to keep on twisting this out. Now if you reach your finger in, you're going to notice a small little washer against this on the inside. Now the goal here is to get that washer off of the outlet on the inside. So what you're going to want to do is try to reach in, pinch that washer while you twist the power outlet on the inside, and then spin that washer when you're able to. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and show you more in depth. Alright, I got it loose, and now I can just pull that out. Okay, let's talk about what was actually going on in there. We have our power cable, and inside is this washer. What's happening is that this washer is what is holding the outlet to the scooter. So you're having to reach your finger on the in into the inside of the scooter and hold on to this washer so that as you twist this, it will actually come loose and get this washer off. Eventually I found that I needed to start spinning this washer with my finger so that it would come loose the rest of the way. Once it popped off, I could just slide the power right on out. We're gonna put that old power aside. You know, maybe yours was busted, maybe it wasn't sending a charge. Whatever reason you have for replacing it, we're gonna put it aside. Now we're gonna take our new one and make sure that our 
green connectors are near the actual power. We're going to go ahead and put it up and into the hole. And then we're going to go ahead and take that washer and run it, put it back on and run it down the cable. And then we're going to try to let that spin that washer onto the power on the inside there. Just feel it out, you'll get it eventually. Once the power cable is on a little bit, if you have that rubber stop still, we're going to go ahead and wrap that over our power and try to get that pinched underneath the power and the board on this side. Kind of like the washer but opposite. There we go. And we're just going to keep on tightening that on the inside while twisting it on the outside to try to make sure that that's as secure as possible. Now, the power cables that we unplugged earlier, we're going to go ahead and replug those in. Again. The red is going to go to the red. And the black is going to go into the yellow. And once those feel nice and secure, you're done replacing it. We're ready to put this all back in. We're gonna push this little block back inside and put all this cable also back inside and slide that down as much as we can. Now we're going to put that fender back up and over, tucking in the cables there. And start reassembling the scooter. And putting it back together is as easy as it was taking it apart. Just make sure you take that bucket of screws and grab the screws you need out of it. I find it easiest to put the screws on by hand and then come back with the Allen wrench and tighten them down. Now, most importantly, we need to make sure that it charges. So, when you have a charger and it's plugged in, it normally lights up green, right? So if we plug our scooter in and check the charger, it's red. So we know it's charging. So it's good to go. And there it is. Like I said, super easy to fix. Just a couple screws and a couple plugs in and out, no problem. Now before the video ends, I do want to let you guys in on a little secret. If you keep an eye on our social media, our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, we're going to be doing a little contest coming up soon. So keep an eye on that, especially if you have a cruiser. You're not going to want to miss it. And with that, we're done here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and hit it with a like. Subscribe if you're going to be interested in other guides. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see us do, go ahead and drop those into the comments down below. If you have any questions or concerns that came up while working on your scooter, go ahead and drop those into the comments down below too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helps and I hope you enjoy your ride.